I think the most notable finding in this report really goes down to two things. The first thing is that we, we started from a blank sheet of paper when we started this. In other words, we have no preconceived notions, which is why we, we asked for, for really very, very wide uh, uh, response. And uh, in fact, in response to our call, we've had over 23,000 photos, 22,000 videos, 5,000 emails. We've looked at, in fact, a lot of press coverage, the internet. So uh, that is unprecedented. We've never done this sort of thing before. In fact, and the reason why we did that was that uh, we know that there are a lot of complaints that's going to come through. And in order to understand these complaints, we really must understand what the situation is on the ground. Uh, that's our function, this is actually look at complaints investigated by the police and to ensure that uh, these investigations are done fairly and completely. Now, uh, and another function that we've got is to uh, ensure that uh, whatever we have found in the course of looking at complaints and in the course of this study, uh, we can make recommendations to the police for improvement. Now, you've said just now that uh, we found no systemic issue. That, that, that is true to an extent. Uh, indeed, we have found no systemic issue. That's because the, the police as an institution, in fact, they have plenty of rules, they have plenty of guidelines. They try their very best to operate within the law. But what we have to be absolutely clear about is that the use of force is a personal question. It is a legal question. And that legal question, in fact, is still to be determined by way of the complaints that we have got. Now, we have uh, over 100 complaints in terms of use of force uh, by policemen, 83 of which, in fact, come from people who have been arrested. Now, these people will have their day in court and uh, ensure that when they do go to court, in fact, there is this full transparency of the trial so that we could understand, in fact, what in fact happened. But this study would enable us to uh, ensure that we fully understand the situation. Two, two other things. Within this that, report, that, Anthony. Yeah. Go ahead. Within this report, you made 52 recommendations to the police, but why was there no mention of any disciplinary action or any accountability to be taken? That is because that is a personal question. And, and uh, the commissioner has said that, in fact, when he, when he uh, looks at our reports, and in fact, he, he looks at it every time there is an operation to ensure that uh, the supervisory powers that he and his officers have have been fully exercised. And that's why the disciplinary powers are his and not mine. In fact, what my function is, is to tell him what has happened and to remind him what has happened. Uh, he will take the disciplinary action as is needed. And in fact, in terms of accountability, in terms of the use of force, that is an accountability which comes within the law. And that is a personal accountability. That is something that the commissioner has to uh, investigate. And we, when we look at those complaints, we'll ensure that those investigations are done fairly and completely.